Kavita Malapa, um, live in Bangalore. We're a family of four and I'm an engineer and an entrepreneur. You know, we have a family with a lot of teenagers, we have gynecologists, so the HPV vaccine did come up in some conversation. So um, you get a lot of mixed information, um, not a whole lot of clarity to be honest. Given that the kids were growing old and the adolescents, I wanted to take a, a decision at the right time. Um, there were two factors, one was um, a kind of trusted, knowledgeable source who's in the field of cancer prevention who kind of gave me very clear information and said, hey, this is a must do. And on the other side was also my daughter who, you know, um, was pushing, saying, mom, if there's something that's going to prevent uh, a disease in my future, uh, it seems like a no-brainer and I should, you know, uh, avail of it. You take shots as a kid for different kinds of other diseases. This is just like that. So I had two shots over a period of time and I felt no side effects whatsoever. I just went to the doctor's office, got a shot and then went about my day. So I feel really lucky that my mom was able to actually do all the big research and find out the pros and cons and I was lucky enough to be able to take the vaccine on time. HPV vaccine um, not just prevents cervical cancer but also five other types of cancers and it seemed all encompassing. The fact that its numbers are quite alarming, but it can be completely prevented, is still an unknown uh, data point. And I think people don't really uh, dig down to the data or the science behind it. And I think uh, it's important to note that even the WHO recommends uh, this is a vaccine for uh, adolescents. Knowing more about the cervical cancer and the HPV shot, will help you make your decision in the end of the day. So it's important that you work towards it now and bring up the conversations in your own homes, among your peer groups, among your family, so that they are all able to help you collectively make the right decision.